Thank you, Madam Speaker, and congratulations, and it's an honor to recognize um, my colleague, Eleanor Holmes Norton, someone who, as a student at Georgetown, um, we looked up to and at American University when I was in law school and she was actively teaching at Georgetown Law. Um, I want to thank Mr. Sarbanes for authoring H.R. 1 and wanted to also point out a component. Uh, the Democrats were so in tune to the issues, not just in the mainland, but also in the territories, that there is language in H.R. 1 that says that a commission should be formed to look at uh, self-determination and the ability to vote for those four million people who are living in our territories, Puerto Rico, Guam, my home, the Virgin Islands, Northern Marianas, and of course, American Samoa. And we're really grateful that you have given attention to the fact that we have veterans, people who have been willing to take the call to America to serve in our armed forces, but cannot vote for the commander in chief while they are living in the territories. Um, that's something that we're grateful that you all have decided in HR1 to look at. And also, Madam Speaker, for appointing in the House administration a committee, uh, a voting rights committee, that went and took testimony from so many people around this country to look at voter suppression to answer the questions in the case, the Supreme Court case of Shelby. So I want to thank the Speaker for her tremendous work and all of the Democrats in continually remembering those least Americans and those of us who feel suppressed in our ability to express our support of this democracy by the right to vote. And we're hopeful that on the Oversight Committee, we're going to do what's necessary to ensure that the postal, um, our U.S. Postal Service, which has been with us forever, uh, does not fall, falter in not just getting those care, food, as well as so many goods that are being done to those who are homebound right now, but also when we vote uh, in this important election. So thank you so much for that, Madam Speaker.